Well, certainly another successful night at the office for champion rangeman Luke McCarthy. And I'm looking forward to his comments concerning the Michael Stanley trained rock and roll do. Highly impressive in defeating Krug tonight in the Pale Face Outhouse. And of course, looking forward to Luke's commitments leading up to the Miracle Mile. Well, Luke, it's been an exciting night of racing here at Club Menangle. None more so than the performance of the Michael Stanley trained rock and roll do. That was impressive in a big way. Yeah, it was, Mike. He, um, he ran a super race at Melton last week in the Menanza. He galloped early and lost a lot of ground and, you know, still run fourth. So, you know, off that run, he, you know, we were sort of quietly confident he'd run a really good race. And obviously we didn't think we could sit outside Krug and beat him. But, you know, we'd roll forward and give him his opportunity to, you know, be, <clears throat> be there for the, you know, for the top, top four chance to make sure he got it in the chariots and... You know, he's probably exceeded everyone's ambitions for him and, and went super. And it wasn't just a win, it was a comfortable win. Yeah, he felt really dominant. He's, he's sort of a big loafy going horse and he just jogged around outside him and, yeah, he won, won, won quite easily. Unfortunately, the wet weather made sure that the sectional times didn't work, so we don't have a reading on that until we go to the stopwatches. Look, this track seems to suit him. Yeah, very big, strong horse. And I said to Ian Stanley... Before he almost feels like driving an expensive ego as a four-year-old, you know, just that big dominant sort of fella and happy to sort of sit outside him. So, you know, he, he's going to be very hard to beat in the chariots. As you mentioned, he's been now pressing on two occasions back home and here now, and you're rating him very highly for the chariots. The draw, would it matter much to him or is he still going to be ODM? Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but he, I presume it would be if it would be the two runs leading Victoria like it is here. So, um you know, with their mother horses going to have to do a bit of work early, you know, early to figure their spots out. He can just sort of, you know, can pretty much drive him exactly how he's driven tonight and, you know, he, he should be very very strong again. For Makui, the Honey Queen, very impressive leading throughout. She felt good. She's only been here two weeks. Uh, the Thursday prior to flying across, she ran a good fourth to South Coast Arden. So she had good New Zealand form and uh, with the limited man's opportunities, it, over there at the moment, uh, the owners thought it'd be good to send her here, and you know, it worked, timing worked out good with the ladyship mole just around the corner. So she'll head to the to the next round of heats next week. She left the gauge twenty six six, Luke, and home in twenty six seven. So she did burn the candle at both ends. Yeah, very nice mare and good record. So I'm sure the run here will, you know, have a look at the track. She should be even better for next week. Love to get your thoughts on Antonio finishing fourth, only four metres from Silish Memphis. First up from a spell. Well, she went really good. Uh, David thought she might need the run. She had a troll a few weeks ago, and, you know, she's one of them fillies or mares now that seems to thrive on the racing. So, you know, that, I'm sure that run tonight will, you know, tighten her up a lot for the for the final. Going back a week, and this time last week, you were successful in the Hunter Cup. A brilliant performance by King of Swing, and I think the most pleasing thing to come out of it, Luke, he wasn't knocked about. It was a very comfortable win. Yeah, look, the draws, mate all the difference in them sort of races and you know he'd, he'd drawn I think 13 and 12 in his last two group races down there so you know he could come up with a good draw and you know he had the gate speed to utilize that and I will be honest I was concerned about Amazing Dream in the run because I know how fast she is whether you go quick or slow so uh, the, you know I was able to sort of get the fractions I wanted and you know when he ripped home in 25.8 or 25.9 he was always going to be hard to beat. T. McCarthy must be looking forward to the sprints with plenty of excitement leading in to the Miracle Mile. Who will be representing the stable, Luke? Obviously, um, King of Swing and uh, Spur of St. Louis, they'll head that way. Expensive Ego is heading to Newcastle um, next week, so we're looking forward to having him back there and you know, hopefully he can win. If he doesn't, well, he'll head to the sprints and they're probably our main ones, you know, out of Orlando's due to trial Wednesday, whether he's, you know, he's getting a bit older now, whether he's up to that level, but the Chris of Bohemia or the free-for-all on Miracle Mile Night's always a good race for them, undercard free-for-alls. It's starting to come to shape very nicely and it looks like you're going to be in for another very exciting carnival. Well, hopefully, you sort of, you know, you just got to have good horses and, um, you know, hopefully they're fit and sound and healthy as they come into these carnivals. They're very strong, you know, there's some... You know, good stables around at the moment with some good horses, so it's very competitive racing and, you know, we'll just try and have our team at their best. It's good to see all the Victorians here tonight. They've certainly added a great deal to the carnival. Oh, no doubt. And, you know, Clayton and Emma are great trainers. It's always good to see their horses here. They're 
you know, always fancied in the market for the punters and and also the good drivers. You Greg Sugars, them don't kind of them guys been here as ads for our product and you know the next few weeks going to be really good racing. It certainly is, Luke, and you'll be at the forefront in most of those events. And uh, congratulations on tonight, and we certainly look forward to what's going to be happening over the next few weeks. Thanks, Mike.